Nasbel, for your very interesting presentation. So you've so uh, well uh, put forth the theory of uh, inequality of opportunity. And indeed, that is the root of most of our problems. We have, uh, it, the saying goes that if you have puritical institutions, they will breed piracy. And institutions, weak institutions are a big problem. Now, uh, our problems, the fact that we have so many problems, uh, there have been a lot of discussions uh, in the political arena among social scientists, and uh, people are aware of these. And of course, there are policies, there are laws to look into these. But we have a big issue of governance. Uh, the laws are there, but the teeth, there's no teeth to bite into those laws. So it would be good to hear your views on how we can tackle this governance issue. Yeah, I, it's getting easier. <laughs> because I don't I don't really believe in imposing laws on people. I don't necessarily believe in policing that you can get that. I think laws should codify what society wants and then make sure that everybody abides to it. And if it's not clear yet that this is what society wants really within households, uh, then that's where the problem is. And that's where I actually am a bit optimistic because there are ways of changing that, that mindset. But, but thinking in terms of we have laws and now everybody should do it while people have been accustomed to do it in a different way for generations, I don't believe in it. But I also don't believe that when it has been the custom for many generations that it will be forever there, because it's always, and I have many examples, it's always striking how things that seem untouchable suddenly, sometimes within weeks, are, su are suddenly changing. That's where everybody wakes up. We're going to do that in a different way. But that is where the intervention should be, to, to make these law consistent with, with the mindset of the people, uh, I think. Thank you. Uh, we, uh, for the time, we can actually take how many questions? <laughs> uh, many questions there are. The first three questions are going to... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I know that you also have to go to the ideas. So, very quickly, uh, if you don't make it... Sir. Can you hear me without the mic? Uh, currently, we are seeing that uh, IMF has uh, given us a long-term loan, and we are going through multiple regulation changes. We have seen uh, the uh, uh, changes in petroleum prices and long-term uh, price uh, regulations. And what I'm trying to say is, uh, is these long-term loans and the price changes is going to affect our uh, inequality in the dualistic model we've seen in our country? Is this going to increase the inequality and harm the inclusion and creation of new job opportunities? That is my question. Okay, first of all, the IMF is not giving you long-term loans. The IMF is giving you short-term loans. We are giving you long-term loans. The IMF is giving you... Don't give the credit to... The IMF is giving you three-year loans, and then, then it has to be paid back, and that can be incredibly useful, because uh, if you can't pay your bills, if you have a balance of payment problem, then it's good to get some support, but then after that, the course has, has to be taken away, and, and that's partly what they try to do also. But if I'm right that the course is not just better uh, fiscal planning and uh, 
an, a, a change in the in the tax system. But if the course ultimately is uh, creating uh, more of a level playing field, including more people in the productive economy, then you have to start working on that, and and that's being done with longer term uh, loans. I don't think that uh, the, these loans at the moment are increasing uh, inequality. Uh, I, I don't think so. Uh, that, that there are enough safeguards also uh, built in, and ultimately everybody benefits from the short-term uh, support that is being given now, but it's not enough. 